Yeah, Alice, it happened right here at the corner of Throop Avenue and Wallabout Street. We're told the victim has a minor concussion after being attacked, leaving Shabbos services. Now, this location only a block away from where a nine-year-old was also attacked last week. Tonight, many in this neighborhood telling me they are on edge as they celebrate the first night of Hanukkah. You see the man in the bottom left corner having a conversation when out of nowhere, someone in a hoodie sucker punches him from behind. The 33-year-old victim goes down and a chase ensues. We start running after him, but unfortunately, we, we grabbed him, we got him, we caught him, but unfortunately, no cop was there to get him. I felt just like everybody else over here, that you gotta be afraid on the streets and nobody gives, uh, nobody cares. The suspect is still out there. Police are also looking for this man, who they say punched a nine-year-old boy several times in the face in the same neighborhood last Sunday night. Like you're like, uh, I don't know, like in a wilted country with, like in a, what people don't like us. The NYPD says anti Semitic crimes are by far the most common hate crime, with 168 documented in 2018 so far, up almost 25% from this time last year. This week, a Columbia University professor discovered two swastikas and an anti Semitic slur written across her office walls. On this first night of Hanukkah, her message for the person who did it. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. Happy Hanukkah. And the Anti-Defamation League is now offering a reward for up to $5,000 for any information leading to an arrest in any of these cases. We also reached out to the mayor's office who tells us he has no tolerance for anti-Semitism in New York City and the NYPD is conducting a full investigation. We're live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Lisa Rosner, TV 1055.